Hello, this is Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Welcome back to our DNA 9 video series. I think the last video that we did was uh, far too long ago, a couple months now, and it was about uh, a theme in DNN. But uh, what I want to go ahead and do now is talk to you about how you can upgrade a, a DNN website running on Azure as a, an app instance and kind of go through the process there of what it takes to upgrade a DNN site running on Azure. Uh, so the prerequisites here, you already have a DNN site installed and you have the ability to log into that site. It is recommended that you have the host or the super user access to that site in order to successfully log in. So the steps we're going to do here, I'm going to show you what I've already done to back up the website. We'll talk about the backup of the website for the files and the database. Um, I've actually already downloaded and extracted the DNN 9.2 upgrade package. Uh, I'll show you where you can get that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually upgrade the plan that my website is running on in Azure to kind of add some additional resources to it just to try to help speed up the upgrade process. And then I'll show you how to disable the website so that if anyone accesses it while we're trying to perform this upgrade, they get a, a friendly message. And then we'll go through the upload and the upgrade process there within our site. Now, I will preface this with, this is probably gonna be a longer video. I usually try to keep my videos under 10 minutes. This one may not, uh, may not make it under that 10 minute mark, uh, and it might not actually be successful, but uh, I'm gonna record the whole thing, and uh, if it's not successful, we'll talk about what the next steps are to try to repair the site or restore the site if something goes wrong. Hopefully nothing goes wrong, but uh, we'll see. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is talk about the, the backing up of the website and the file system. So I've actually already backed up the file system for my DNN site running in Azure by connecting to my Azure instance via FTP. I'm using FileZilla here. And I went into uh, the file system, chose the www root folder, and I downloaded that file locally here into a, a local hard drive on my desktop. I recommend that you download these files. Uh, that way, if you do need to do a restore, if something fails, you have a backup of the files so that you can recover those. Now, within Azure, if you're running uh, a SQL instance, Azure SQL actually stores backups uh, and gives you kind of point in time backups automatically within Windows Azure. So if you've got a database up and running, you can actually restore that. Now, how do I know this? Because I actually went through the process of upgrading a website uh, a few months ago now, and uh, actually it was early, early April, excuse me. Um, I ran into problems there, uh, and I hadn't backed up the database. I hadn't actually backed up the file system, uh, and my DNN 9.2 upgrade just totally tanked. So fortunately, within uh, SQL, you actually do have the ability to restore point in time. So I was able to restore the file, uh, restore the database to uh, just before the upgrade occurred. And fortunately for me, I had recently moved those sites into Azure. So I was able to get the files from the original migration and reuse those to kind of restore the site. Hopefully we're not going to have to go through any of that process here in this video or in subsequent videos for this, but uh, you can go through and, and do some restores for databases in Azure if you need to. So this is a, a quick look at my, uh, my app service here, Chris Hammond CMS. So the website we're actually going to be uh, upgrading is my personal site, chrishammond.com. It's currently running on DNN 9.1.1. You can see that by mousing over the DNN icon in that persona bar. So that is how we're going to go ahead and back up the file system, back up the site, uh, the database. Uh, I went ahead and performed that, those steps before the uh, video here just because the file system is rather large and it took a good 20 or 30 minutes for all the files to download via FTP. And you don't want to watch that video. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So the extraction or the download and the extraction of our 9.2 upgrade package is our next step. So to do that, I'm gonna switch back over here to the browser to download the upgrade package of this latest release of DNN, which is version 9.2. You can go to github.com slash DNN software slash DNN dot platform and then slash releases. So here we have that 9.2 release, and I downloaded the upgrade package. Now, if you're trying to do a fresh installation of DNN, you would use the install package. But because we're doing an upgrade, 
we're going to work with the upgrade package. So I went ahead and I downloaded that upgrade package into a file on my, my local machine again. I right clicked on the zip file there, choose extract, and I've extracted all of the contents of that upgrade package here to the uh, DNN platform upgrade folder. So that folder is going to be the location where we actually upload those files via FTP to our Azure instance. We'll get back to that here in a few moments. Next step in the process, I actually want to go through and upgrade my Azure plan, the, uh, the service plan that this particular website is running under. Now, I'll talk to you about why I want to do that, but I'm going to navigate over here to my Azure instance. I'm going to click on the app service. That'll bring up the details here for the plan or for the, uh, the app service. We can see over under the, under the app service plan, it's currently running under the basic one small option. So if I go ahead and click on that, and then over on the left side here, I can choose the scale up option. This will show me you know, what we're currently using for resources. So the instance that this particular site is running under right now has one core, one CPU, and just under two gigs of memory. It's not all that much. It works fine for loading the site and a couple of the other sites that are running under this plan. But from experience, when I went to do the upgrade on a different site a couple of weeks ago, I ran into some performance problems where it slowed down and it didn't actually complete the upgrade process. And that, that caused me to have issues. So what I'm gonna uh, go ahead and do for the upgrade process is I'm going to upgrade to B3, basic three, which will give me four cores and seven gigabytes of memory. So within Azure, I can go ahead and choose that, click apply. If everything works successfully, I get a message up here in the top right that says the update was successful. Now, let me go ahead and switch back over here to the site. Try to reload the site here. Just make sure everything loads up on the site before we move forward in the process. So we're still sitting here waiting for the website to reload. We'll come back to that and uh, check to make sure that completes before we move on. The next step that we're gonna do though, is we're gonna talk about how we can disable that site. So once it actually does run, we wanna make sure that we disable it so that if anyone tries to access the site while we're upgrading, while we're uploading the files, we wanna prevent them from triggering the upgrade process. We wanna control the upgrade process ourselves, we wanna see that it works, make sure that everything functions here in our DNN site. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize an app offline.htm file. That's a way to disable an app or a website running in IIS or running in Azure. So DNN itself doesn't come with an app offline file, but if we navigate over here into my www root folder, which is the contents of the website, you can see I actually have a file currently called app offline.htm1. And I just mistakenly downloaded it. That's okay. We can go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. If I uh, navigate over, let's see where I've got those files. I'm going to navigate over to my local machine here. And in my May 2018 folder, I now have that app offline.htm file. If I open that up in a text editor, we'll see that it has just some very basic HTML in it. You can see there's really not much in it right now. Uh, there's a lot of uh, breaks here. Uh, it's basically just a friendly message. It says, hey, this website's going through an upgrade. So with the file, with the current name, HTM1, if we switch back over here to FTP, the HTM1, the one on the end, kills it from actually disabling the website. It turns off the app offline file itself. As soon as I remove the one, and it becomes a .htm extension, what's, end, what's gonna end up happening is any request to that website will load the HTML in that file. Let me go ahead and switch back over here to the website and show you that we're here again running on the website. It's a little slow tonight, but uh, it did load up the photography page after I clicked on one of those links. Let's go ahead and switch back to the home page here and you can see that that loads up. So with the use of this app offline file, if I go over here to FTP, and I rename that file to be appoffline.htm. Switch back to my browser, try to refresh the page, and you can see that I have an HTML or a, a HTML page that gets loaded with some messaging. It says currently upgrading data nuke, we're undergoing maintenance, blah, blah, blah. You can customize that, change that to be whatever you want 
I usually keep my files pretty generic because I just want to throw something out there while I'm going through the upgrade process. So let's talk about the next step in the upgrade process. We're going to now take the contents of the upgrade package and we're going to upload those files over our existing files in that www root folder. So I'm going to switch back over here to my FTP uh, software. I'm going to go ahead and navigate in that FTP software to the upgrade package that I downloaded. And what I'm going to do is select all of the files in the upgrade package. And I'm going to go ahead and choose to upload those to my Azure website. Now, the FTP software here is going to go ahead and prompt us, what are we doing? I want to go ahead and overwrite all of these files. And it'll take a few minutes to kind of upload those. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And once it's complete or nearing completion, I'll start the recording again. And we'll get back to you on the remaining steps to complete the upgrade. All right, so the FTP files are just about finished. Uh, I didn't really keep track of how long that process was, but I just want to point out this this process does require the website to be down because of that app offline file while we go through. So if you want to upgrade production without taking your website offline, this video is not for you. There are other ways to do it, but uh, we're not covering that in this particular video. So at this point, the... Uh, website is still offline and the upgrade files are now in place. So to bring the website back online, what I'm going to do is rename that app offline file again. So from .htm, I always put a htm1 on the end. And uh, now if I go ahead and switch back to my browser, try to reload the website, it's going to take a moment as everything kind of recompiles and gets loaded back up into memory again. And then what we should see is the prompt here to go ahead and perform the upgrade. So it's going to actually ask us to log in with our host or our super user account. Now, I never do that. I never upgrade using the username and password. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I do it here in just a moment. Uh, we'll wait for the website to reload, and then I'll bring the, uh, the recording back online. All right, so here it is. We have the uh, upgrade screen. It shows us our current version, the version we're upgrading to. Now you can go ahead and just click upgrade now, assuming that you have the host username uh, and password populated there. I am not gonna do that. I'm going to change the URL from upgradewizard.aspx to install.aspx. This is just the old school way of doing an upgrade in DNN. I like it because what it's gonna do is it's gonna show us the steps as it goes through the process here. So it's gonna go down through and try to upgrade and install all of the various packages that are necessary for the DNN 9.2 upgrade. Now, this is gonna take a few minutes. So I'll talk a little bit through this, but I'm gonna pause the recording depending on how long it actually takes. Um, before we get to the end though, I'm pretty sure this website's probably gonna bomb when we try to load up DNN 9.2, we'll see though. Uh, I do have a custom module that I've written. It's actually uh, a custom version of Engage Publish. You can download that from the Engage software GitHub repo. Um, this is a, a module that I use for my personal blog. I've maintained it for I don't know, it's a 2018 now. So I think we probably started building it back in 2004, 2005, back with, when I was with Engage. Uh, so it's, it's the, web, or the, the module that I use for blogging. On most of my websites, I do have some websites that use my DNN Simple article module as well. Um, those, one of those websites is actually the one I tried to upgrade back in April and it, it failed. Uh, I don't believe it actually failed due to a module issue though. I think it failed just due to timeout for performance problems. So that's why I went through that process of upgrading my, uh, app plan or the service plan there in Azure to give it additional resources to try to help speed through this particular process. So we're about a minute and a half in right now. We scroll down, we can see it's still installing all the various packages here. We do have success messages for all these packages, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording right now, and uh, I'll re-enable it once we get through. Well, look at that. I don't even have to pause the recording. So uh, I took the upgrade process there just under a minute and 45 seconds. It does tell us that the upgrade is now complete, and we get the option click here to access your site. So... I'm going to go ahead and click on that and cross my fingers, see what happens here when we go to actually load the site now for the first time with the new DNN 9.2 installation completed. 
Not going to be surprised if it fails. Uh, I'll be pleasantly uh, surprised if it actually works, though. So let's see what happens here as that website loads back up. So one thing I'll, I'll mention as we wait for that to, to occur, why, why will I not be surprised? Well, I haven't actually completed a successful DNN 9.2 upgrade. Uh, I'm doing this in production. I didn't pull the files down locally, try a test. I absolutely could have done that, uh, but I figured it's been two or three or four months since I've created a DNN 9 video. I needed to get through and upgrade some of my sites, so I figured I'd do it with you guys. Uh, and that way, if there was an issue, you could see what process I would go through to try to correct it. So we're still waiting here for that website to recompile. There's a lot of code in there, um, the custom module, et cetera. Uh, as we see, the website loads up here. Let's see if uh, the persona bar and everything else loads up for us uh, as we wait for the completion. So at this point, uh, persona bar is still loading here on the left. It does look like the... Uh, the site is loaded. So let's see what happens here. Uh, I'm gonna pick one of my blogs. Uh, unfortunately, all those blogs on the front page link to other sites. So let's see, here we go. There's one back from December, 2017. This is a blog that uh, is a post I made in December that uh, will load the content on this site as opposed to navigating to one of my many other sites. And we can see right now that uh, <laughs> it looks like it worked. So I was able to upgrade the site to DNN 9.2 without any issues. It did take a little while. Um, that's just the nature of the beast. If you're using FTP to transfer files back and forth, it does not appear to be a quick process with Windows Azure. Um, but I do have uh, the site upgraded. We can mouse over the icon up there in the top left. We can see the DNN platform version 9.2.0. Uh, a couple of the changes, uh, I'm not gonna go through all the changes. One of the big changes for 9.2 was an overhaul of the page management section of uh, DNN uh, in DNN 9 in the persona bar. So you can see here, here's all the various pages I've got within this particular website. So it's a new interface there. Uh, if you want to see what some of the other changes for DNN 9.2 are, definitely go back to their GitHub page on the releases page. There is a release notes there so you can see some of the various features that have been upgraded. Now, there were a lot of breaking, what could be considered breaking changes in 9.2. They removed, I think, over 500 deprecated API methods. So custom modules m may break if they were using methods that have been deprecated from earlier versions of DNN. Uh, so you might want to do some real testing before you upgrade a production website. Don't quite live as dangerously as I did tonight as we went through this process. But uh, overall, the website upgrade has been successful. Now, the very last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back over here to the Azure uh, instance, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's say downgrade my um, downgrade grade my tier back to basic one and uh, go ahead and hit apply so you can see that's just under seven or it's at seven and a half cents an hour uh for their pricing so i've gone ahead and done that and uh if i go back to the website i should be able to just kind of reload everything the website will load back up again so um video is a lot more successful than i thought it was going to be um Glad it worked out. Hopefully, your guys' upgrades to DNN 9, uh, 9.2 work out just as easily. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll be back here in the next couple of weeks with some additional DNN 9 videos. I'm hoping to get back in a regular cadence there, get some new tutorials out there. Uh, if you have any tutorials you'd like to see, please go ahead and reach out to me on chrisdoc.com. You can use the contact form there uh, to provide me some feedback. If you need any training, uh, any custom consulting for DNN, definitely reach out to me there as well. Uh, again, this was Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Thanks for watching the video.